in our free enterprise system and keeping every American safe by preparing us Republican lawmaker there, Roland Roberts, as you see in the bottom, for president. He's announcing, very official, Oh, damn it. And his wife passed out, his pregnant wife passed out there as they were speaking. If you're sitting there talking for forever, then someone's gonna get tired of this. Now, the big thing that people were talking about was his reaction. In case you guys didn't see it there <laughs> that second time, he just kind of looked back and was like, what the hell is wrong with you? Can't you see I'm trying to talk? This is so distracting, bro. She hit the floor and this is what happened for the rest of that announcement. This is where she then ended up. States have the right to regulate who gets married to who, who gets a driver's license and when, and under what circumstances an unborn child does not see the light of day. Speaking about my administration, while states are handling state matters, they're given mandate to address. So uh, she went from standing to sitting. Maybe she just got tired, bro. These are the two screenshots from one second to the next. One, one screenshot to the next in that video. She went from standing to sitting, hanging out with her ginger ale, no shoes on, and just relaxed. Maybe that's the magic that Roland can bring. Is his name Roland? Yeah, that's the magic that Roland can bring. You just relaxed, nothing hit the floor, especially your head or anything like that. She is okay though. But he didn't stop it, he didn't postpone it, he didn't slow it down. People uh, responded to that though. Uh, one person on LinkedIn said, this was funny, Eric Blyler says, would you respond to a national crisis faster than you responded to your pregnant wife collapsing? And people are brutal, bro. <laughs> Over on YouTube, someone said, Christopher Worth said, if my pregnant wife passed out and collapsed on the floor, I'd like to think I was quote, woke enough to cancel whatever <laughs> I was doing at the time and take care of her, not just prop her up. On a chair while I finished my <laughs> spiel. Uh, this funny stuff, man. I love commenters on on uh, on these. Well, I don't always love commenters, but on these particular things because, okay, we talked about this. Uh, oh, sorry. Well, let's show the real picture of them smiling. They're actually a nice, happy uh, couple. He just he didn't have any time for that particular day. Um, I, I've I said this before. Maybe it was last week. Uh, we always can't say what we're going to do in an emergency situation. If someone's getting attacked, or if you see someone run down the street and someone just broke in, or someone pulls a gun on someone else and they're like a block away, do you run towards them or do you run away? You know, but I'm trying not to judge. But she was right behind you, bro. It's your wife. It's almost like an instinctual move. Like, is everything okay? We can pause this, and I can take care. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, JR, nothing is more important than the pursuit of power. Come on, this guy's <laughs> trying to be the president of something, anything. <laughs> he, his pregnant wife is secondary. And man, yo, by the looks at that picture, that dude is out kicking the hell out of his coverage. Lord have mercy. <laughs> How do you do that one? That's crazy. Show the picture again, you guys. Well, I was Jesus. I was distracted by her bangs. Uh, they're severe. Come on now, but come yeah. on now. I don't think they a physical match. I, I don't believe that to be the case. Maybe I'm tripping. <laughs> well, um, <laughs> maybe it's events like this that uh, the reasons why he won her over. Because bro, uh, I, I, I don't know how long I would be in the doghouse if my lady was pregnant with my child. And I was making some dopey announcement, <laughs> and I just and video came out that I just stared like, "You're interrupting the announcement <laughs> with your this fainting so embarrassing. while pre <laughs> while pregnant." What like what is that? Um, I, I should actually ask my parents. What is that my father did? Because apparently I was told this story. I wasn't around yet. I was hanging out, um, growing in the womb. But apparently my mother passed out. When she was pregnant with me because I was causing a ruckus and it was hot outside, something like that. And uh, she fell over, leaned against the car and almost hit her head, something like that. I wasn't there. I'm only telling the retelling of the story. I don't know where my father was. Maybe he was right there. Maybe he was making a presidential announcement and he was like, bro, it's the fifth kid. It's okay. I've got four others. Uh, I, I don't I don't know. Uh, I'll have to ask. Um, it's a Tuesday. My mother's not in the chat, so I can't ask her directly. I'll come back with that information tomorrow. I'm gonna find out exactly if my father was a Roland Roberts or not. This may change my entire <laughs> outlook on my existence. <laughs> Who knows? What he did. So one of my good friends, he told me when he watched the birth of his first child, he he passed out. 
Oh, really? When the, when the kid was coming out, he he just wasn't ready for. He just wasn't ready. For <laughs> what about it? Did he tell you later? On? Did he tell you later what it was about? Because I, I watched, I watched the the the. The, the miracle actual, of life happened in front of okay, him. Okay, yeah, no, he just said it was just crazy. He just did. I don't think he was prepared for all that happens, and he, yeah, he passed out. <laughs> they had to carry him. They had to pick him up. Like they had to, like, yo, boy, wake up, man. I wouldn't tell. Wake that up, your son's being born. I tell them <laughs> that I was strong. I stood in there. I saw so much, and I loved it. I should be a doctor myself.